Hey guys, I'm here with Cinco Paul. He's written some Dr. Seuss movies. Horton, here's a, a what? Who, bitch? Who? Who, bitch? <laughs> Roll the <laughs> fingers. <laughs> Process. Can I ask you that? I know, I know in the TV animation biz, we normally have one recording session. We're doing a show a week. So we'll, uh -huh. we'll, we'll do our recording session. Our, our studio is booked for four hours, but we pretty much get it done in two. Like a Fairly Odd Parents episode, Danny Phantom, we pretty much do it in two hours, maybe. How long does a movie take to record? How long do you guys set aside to record a film? Is it constantly going on as production's going on? Yeah, I mean, we'll bring Carell in six or seven times mm -hmm. throughout over the course of a couple years mm -hmm. that they're, you know, animating the movie. Right, right. How right, long right. are those individual sessions? Uh, about three to four hours. Mm -hmm. Yep. And um, and towards the end, his voice gets pretty thrashed. Especially with the groove. Yeah, voice. doing that groove voice. Yeah. He, he gets a little thrashed <laughs> by the sure. end. And then Gru, the, Gru talks like a Russian yeah. man. Sort, yeah. sort of in the. Uh, yeah. It's like that, right? Yeah. Girls and I. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And how how he came up with that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it was genius when he came up with that. We had, yeah. How did that happen? Because Ken and I at one point realized, oh, we want to meet this Ken yeah. guy. I gotta meet this Ken guy. I thought we were supposed to say it once. Yeah, like, yeah. We should stop. <laughs> Never mind. Calm Ken down. wasn't really involved in this bit with me that much. Oh, good. me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. But um, at one point, we decided that Gru should have an accent. Mm -hmm. And we actually chose this this uh, this Latin accent that's his father-in-law, who's from Argentina, Carlos. Uh -huh. And so we would use this sort of low, this very Steve's Steve's father-in-law. No, 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 Ken's father-in-law. Ken's father. -in -law. Oh, <laughs> hey, if we could, guys, come on. I mean, Enough really, of Ken. Stop but it was his father-in-law, and so we would start write the lines and deliver them that way, and it really came alive for that's us, really and it funny. helped. And so then when Carell came on board, you know. I think we mentioned that to him, but you know, he wanted to come up with his own voice and he mm -hmm. came up with this amazing, there is a little yep. Ricardo Montalban in mm -hmm. it, but it's mixed with Bella Lugosi and it's yeah. just this. It's just a weird Slavic sort of a, yeah. sort of a mystery And so voice. great. And then immediately then we start, and he came up with the idea that he would have these malapropisms or, you know, wouldn't exactly, you know, For example. Have, a, have a complete command of, of the English uh, language. Of English yeah. language. <laughs> yeah. And um, and so then we would use that, and so it's you know animation as you know is very collaborative process. Oh yes, it is because there's you know we're working with people who design the characters and storyboard artists come up with great gags. Oh, you know yeah, a lot of people say like oh my favorite moment in Despicable Me is you know when the minion gets cracked in half and he glows. Yeah. It's like that was genius. And it's like yeah we didn't write that. <laughs> <laughs> that was the story. Yeah. Yeah. See, did you write anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you yeah. written anything you talked? And about? then every once in a while, some, someone will say something like that. Well. Like they'll mo mention a moment in Despicable Me where the girls are saying like, we're not going to go deliver the cookies till we do the dance lesson. And the girls all fold their arms and then Agnes like tries to fold her arms, oh, yeah, but yeah, like yeah. can't yeah. do it. And someone's like, oh yeah, you can't script that. And then I pull out the script. We did. We wrote, we oh, wrote that. That's so cool. it's just, it's a mix. You know, everybody's so you, you, you went off the drawings. So you, you, you get handed these drawings. And did, did the guy who gave you the drawings have any of the story mapped out at all? Or, 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 or he you... had a story, but it was not, it was, it was Gru versus a good guy. Got it. Was, oh, was, yeah. was his story. Mm -hmm. And so. Well, the first one was, what was it? Gru? No, it was a two bad guys. Against yeah, versus yeah. Vector. Oh, versus Vector, yeah. the first guy. Right. Okay. And Wait, then. Did you, did you write the line, take that tiny, is that what he says? Take that tiny toilet? <laughs> what does he say oh, when yeah, he shrinks yeah, the yeah, toilet? Take that tiny toilet. That was always my favorite. I think we did, or it could have come from Siegel. Jason Siegel may have like improvised oh, really? that. That line. I'm gonna have to that was you, always my I, favorite. I, I have to get you in a bubble it's the very quickly. I have to, <laughs> have to get you inside of a bubble. So, dude, but again, Despicable Me, hysterically great. I mean, great characters, great story. And the fact that it wasn't a Disney or Pixar movie and, and, and a movie like that could still become successful mm -hmm. without that machine behind it, strictly based on the characters and the story. That's what I love about it because it's like uh -huh. you don't need that giant machine. I mean, it helps to have, of course, the giant machine behind you. But – just it shows that great stories and great characters work if someone can get a chance to make something great, and it's really really cool. It shows it's a testament to your talent. It really really is. So what happens? You did three Despicable Me's, the yeah, highest grossing we've done movies three of all time, now. Yeah. dude. And the Minions have become this massive franchise all into themselves. I'm so sorry. I, 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 I know. I know. I, 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 On I'm, everyone's I'm, Facebook, do you have, yeah. there's pictures and do you weird have Minions ways. all over your house? Like do you have? Yeah. All, all, like, do you have? How many do you have at your no, house? No, uh, there's a room. There's the, Wait, minion room. Yeah. There's the minion room. <laughs> yeah, the is wing. it painted yellow and everything? Does, your, does yeah. your doctor wife have a doctor's equipment room? I don't think so. I don't think so. Or are they one and the same? Are they, are they the same yeah. room? Yeah, the yeah. doctor minion room. Exactly. So, wait, so you do Despicable, Despicable Me, and what, does Secret Life of Pets come right after that? No, then the Lorax. Lorax came mm -hmm. after that. Then Despicable Me 2. 
then Secret Life of Pets, then Don't Just Me 3. Don't you guys wish you could name all these things off, all the projects you've done, and they were those projects? That's so cool. Nah. Very See, cool. the thing, when you name off all the movies you worked on, I can think of specific scenes that I, like, I'm, when you said the Lorax, I just started laughing, because I'm ah. like, everything, I can pick out something. It's, You're going to get mad at do me. That with I, most movies. I, hadn't seen, I haven't seen the Lorax. Oh, it's, so I've seen it, I saw it twice I'm in theaters, theaters. it was good. awesome. So your two times seeing it makes yes. up for the one time I didn't so see it. Well, okay. I can ask you about Fairly Odd Parents, but I don't think you've seen all of those either. So. <laughs> I haven't, but I have seen it. You have seen it, yeah, thank you. Thank you for With the kid and Thanks for still coming in here, I appreciate that. So what now? The, Cinco, this is so ex- extremely cool because you're so talented. And the re- the way we met was we met at at Agora High School here in in <laughs> uh, in West in, in West Hills, California. Yeah. Because my daughter Sophia, who's right over there, say hi, Sophia. Hello. Hey, Sophia's, Sophia. She's the you, best. You taught. She is the best. You taught her comedy sports in high school. Now you want to go into that a little bit. You, you're uh, your your kids go to Agora High School years ago at the time. Yeah. At the time, and you were the comedy sports coach. Yeah, and comedy sports is uh, improv. Yep. Basically. It is improv. It's yes, sort of like is. you'd see it's short form improv, like you see on Whose Line Is It Anyway or exactly. something like that. And uh, yeah, Gora High has a team and, and the, the coach there, uh, you know, her kids left. And so she sort of picked me to, to be the new coach. And, and you were so great. because I did that we, for like seven or eight years and, and Sophia loved got in, it. Sophia got in there in her freshman year about six, seven years ago, maybe eight years ago. Yeah. And um, the, it was so cool. I went to the first comedy sports night, like Friday night. I'm like, mm-hmm. it was her first time ever. And she auditioned, got in, which was awesome. But I'm like, okay, here we go. A, a, a kid's show at school. And it was so great. It was just wow. awesome. It was off the charts. The kids were so good. And the way you corralled them together and sort of honed them into this comedy fighting squadron was just awesome. Or com- comedy, comedy, <laughs> we comedy. We were fighting comedy. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I mean, you're crime fighting comedy squadron. Yes. Right. You, I fight comedy here. That's yeah. what I do. We never let it yeah. in. No, but uh, you, it was just so funny. And then, um, then I got excited to go back every week. And that's how I met you. I would go like, hey. You were a great audience member, Bud. Oh, dude. I, I, your I, laughter, I, your suggestions. No. My, my, but Sophia, just to say, like, she was an amazing player. She was like, what, someone like, I could really count on very dependable, very smart and funny. Yep. And, and she gets it all from her father. <laughs> yeah, just somehow like, in spite yeah, of like, her upbringing. In spite of her upbringing. Yeah, like, wait, where does this come from, <laughs> Sophia? <laughs> In spite of your father, I've seen his shows. <laughs> God, I'm so sorry. Let's talk. I know. Is there anything coming up that you're working on that you can talk about right now? If not, it's cool. But no. any, any exciting? Aren't you doing some stuff in Broadway now? Aren't you like? like aren't you going to New York all the time? Now? Yeah, I'm going to. You know, we turned Bubble Boy into a musical. I saw it at Agora High School. It was fantastic. Yeah, they did an amazing job at Agora. We have a cast recording. Album, so, if you guys want to check it out, it's on Ghostlight Records. But Alice Ripley, who won the Tony for Next to Normal, was the Bubble Boy's mom in it. We had wow. this amazing cast. And uh, now it's got productions all over the country, and I try to go to as many as I can. So bu- high bubble, schools we, and stuff. bubble Boy's being done in high schools around the country? Yeah, you can license it. We went to Canada. We went to Kentucky. No We way. went to Pennsylvania. Awesome. Yeah, we've gone What was to- better, Canada or Kentucky? Real Ooh. quick. And which I can't one? Say. <laughs> oh, I'm saying. But potentially, there's ones in America, ones in Canada. It's all it's amazing. I love it so much. I, I love the kids. Oh, they all the syrup, act the and everything. sing their yeah. hearts out. Exactly. And uh, so I'm working on a new musical, and then I'm also uh, I'm wondering how much I can say about yeah. stuff we're you doing because we're can't. so excited. But but Ken and I. We're, we're sort of moving away from animation now. You know, Got we had a long run there. We let our it deal sure in Illumination did. lapse so we could, we really want to direct and do some live action, nice. still comedy. Mm-hmm. Nice. And so uh, we've got a horror comedy that we're going to, that we've written that we're going to hopefully direct next year. Hotel wow. Transylvania. Female four. driven. Yes. <laughs> female driven. With female it. driven and, um, and yeah, just sort of in the vein of Ghostbusters, American Werewolf. Very cool. and then those sort of things. I love and, American Werewolf in London. Come and, on, and uh, yeah, underappreciated the in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Such a great movie. And then we have a musical, live action musical that we're working on that we can't really talk that much about. Ooh. And uh, we have a TV show that we're teaming up with Lorne Michaels Company Broadway Video. Wow. that we're going to pitch next month that I'm really excited about. And we can't, I can't really talk about what these things are no, yet. It's but fine. but we but nice but but someday soon, hopefully, we will because mm-hmm. they'll be happening. Yeah, and, and you come um, back in with your pretend friend Ken. You can get a guy and bring <laughs> yeah, him in here. Yeah, I yeah. want to meet Ken. Oh, one thing I did that has been we uh, adapted a graphic novel called Birthright uh-huh. for Universal, working with um, uh, Robert Kirkman, who's okay. The Walking oh, yeah. Dead, right? Walking Dead, and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Um, at Universal, which is this this really fun story. Uh, it's a family story, but sort of a f- action adventure fantasy thing. Mm, so cool. 
we're doing that, so hopefully something will happen with that soon. But it's the movie biz. I know, man. <laughs> you never know. Well